We're here today to talk about how to get some of the uh, benefits from your SkyPod. It'll allow you to get over that vegetation. So that right there is level and engage the target on top of that hill. In this current position we're in, we're sitting with the rifle that's a little bit too high because we're going to want to shoot down into this bottom. So a general rule of thumb is if the targets go down from your position, you need to lower the bipod. And if the targets go up from your position, you need to raise the bipod. We like to try to keep the back of the rifle very consistent so that we're consistent behind the glass on the scope. So instead of getting a really tall bag in order to be able to shoot down in this bottom, what we're going to do is actually just splay the legs out, which is one of the features on the SkyPod. So now, by moving those bipods down, I'm able to get behind the rifle and I can see down into that bottom just fine. Similarly, if the targets are going uphill from your position, you're going to want to move the bipods up. So let's say you started out in standard height and we realized that we were going to shoot up to the top of this mountain here. We would need to be able to get the bipods a lot higher than they are now. Most bipods only have about three inches of adjustment. Where with the SkyPod, we can go a lot higher. And then if that's still not high enough, all we would have to do is bring these in one notch and we can shoot all the way to the top of that mountain there. And all while keeping the back of the rifle roughly the same height off the ground so we have the same consistent cheek weld and eye relief to the scope. All right, so one of the main benefits of the double pull SkyPod is that in a hunting scenario or in a field match environment, it allows you to get a drastic change in elevation for the front of the rifle. So in Virginia, we don't have a lot of the terrain that is where we need this type of thing, but in places like Oregon and Idaho and other places that have a lot of big rocks and elevation changes, it really helps to be able to get the front of that rifle at different heights. So as you can see here, this is a standard height for the front of the bipod, and it's really pointing at the ground. So if we wanted to be able to use this rock as rear support and be able to get the front of the rifle up high enough to be able to see our targets, we just need to make a simple adjustment. So we're gonna bring this down, level out the bipod, and now we have a good level shooting position for this rifle. The other thing that you can do is if you have really tall vegetation, which we do have here in Virginia, and you have a backpack for the rear support, it'll allow you to get over that vegetation. So we're in another location here to show another couple features for getting the most out of your SkyPod. One of the big things here is that the SkyPod has a ton of can adjustment. So it's got about 170 total degrees, so it can go from all the way over here to all the way over here. And when you're on the side of a hill or the side of a rooftop prop, say in PRS, and you set the rifle down, a lot of bipods won't allow you to get enough cant to actually level the rifle. Whereas the SkyPod will actually allow you to easily level the rifle. So that right there is level, looking at my send it level there. So you can see how much actual adjustment is there. Now, one of the original ways that everybody would level their rifle out is to just pull the leg down. And fortunately, that's really easy with the SkyPod too. So if we wanted to do it that way, you can just set the front leg down, pull the other leg down until it touches the ground, and then it's nice and level. So a couple really good features of the SkyPod. It allows you to have a ton of cant, a lot of leg adjustment. It's really easy to get that leg out. So, you know, it just, it, it really helps. So the other thing too, is if we wanted to shoot uphill from here, I can just pick this up, pull the leg down, and we've still got plenty of cant get the rifle nice and level, keep the rear bag in the same location so we still have that consistent cheek weld and eye relief, allow us to get those good shots downrange. All right, we're in another field environment here, so we wanted to show you a situation where like if we were gonna be shooting at a target down in this bottom, we would have this angle and have all the cant out of the rifle, and we could quickly adjust the bipod and shift over to shoot uphill to that other target. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So. Let's say we just engaged this target that was down in the bottom, and then I'm gonna move over and shoot up that hill. I can easily just pull these down, get behind the rifle, and engage the target on top of that hill. That also allows us to keep the rear of the rifle in the same location, have a very stable shooting position, one of the big benefits of the SkyPod. 